hello my friends and welcome again to a new video tutorial in AutoCAD in which we're gonna draw this isometric exercise right alpha line and start drawing the base which has a length of 100 as shown here the distance is 100 from the end point up to here and now we have in this direction 60 line of 60 so we draw a line that has a length but before that hit F5 to change the isoplane and draw it 60 okay now uh, we have another line which has a length of 40 we move it from here from the midpoint Up to the midpoint of this line okay now we have the diameter of the circle of the bigger one is 60 that means the radius is 30 so we move the bigger line from here a distance of 30 okay now we go to uh, axis end and iso circle now we can plot the circle now we can trim it by writing trim and here we go this is our circle the second circle has a diameter of 16 that means the radius is 8 isocircle and start from here the radius is 8 now we can we can delete this one okay this line has to be trimmed and now uh, this distance the small distance is not given here it is given as 6 in the other end of the drawing so we copy sorry CO for copy this line a vertical distance click on F5 of 6 and again do the same step a distance of 12 the same thing for the circle 12 Okay, now we can draw a vertical line, but before that, click on F5 and draw these lines. Okay, now draw a vertical line from here up to here, and the same thing for the other direction. Okay, now we can trim TR for trim this line and delete this line. Trim again, and also this one has to be trimmed. Now we draw a horizontal line, trim, select the first one, and here we go. Okay. Now we draw a vertical line from the quadrant point, but before that, turn on the quadrant and node and all the 
things that we need now draw a vertical line starting from the quadrant point this is the quadrant point and this vertical line from which we can trim this line and also these two F5 to change the isoplane and trim again and now we're done with this side okay this circle we don't need it anymore but we have a distance of 20 units starting from the center of the circle so we write L for letter and we draw a line that has a length of 20 and now we can draw another line that has a length of 60 and move it from this point out to this end point and delete this one or we can just uh, copy this line from here up to the end point and move it from here up to the end point in the other direction we have a vertical line that has a length of 6 units but we don't know what is the other dimension in this direction so we leave it as it is the distance from here up to here is 50 and we can check that dist by writing dist from here up to here it is 50 yeah it is 50 the radius of the circle can be taken from here the height of this line is 13 it is given as 13 so we can draw a line that has a height of 13 f5 to change the ice plane and write 13 a horizontal line and a vertical line now we can go to draw axis and isocircle and from here we got the circle you can trim it from here and copy everything from here a distance of 12 f5 to change the isoplane and right 12 draw a line and copy this line from this point up to this point also here and here sorry here and here now you can trim this line is not needed delete it and trim this line okay and here we go from this end point extending a distance of 15 okay now we have this circle the small circle circle its center point rises a distance of 12 that means we draw a vertical line and another one from this intersection point 12 this is the center point this circle has a diameter of 10 we go to isocircle and write 5 now delete these reference lines in this drawing we were not given a lot of dimensions 
for example the location of this circle the center line the center point of this circle is not given but we can check that by drawing a vertical line from the center point approximate one so it's tangent to the circle to the smaller circle so we draw a vertical line that has a distance of 55 L 55 now we draw a horizontal line from the center point and trim it now we can move this line from any point up to this point and move it again from here to up to here so this this is just a reference line from which we are going to draw the small circle the small circle has a diameter of 18 so we go to um, draw axis in iso circle and draw a circle of 9 and another one of 20 from here we draw a vertical line and trim it and also we can trim this line okay this reference line is not needed anymore the vertical distance from here up to here is given as 42 so we draw a vertical line reference line and draw another line 42 we need another reference line and we can move this line from the end point up to this point okay now we copy this circle and this line a distance of 7.5 so the distance is 7.5 trim now in the other direction we have the same thing so we can copy this line from this point the end point up to this end point and the same for the small line for the small line this one from here up to here now we can copy this circle and this one from the end point a distance of 7.5 now we can draw the horizontal line okay copy this circle from the end point here to the end point here now we have a horizontal line that has a length of 30 from which we can draw a vertical line
and now we can trim and copy C O this line from the end point here up to here okay now we can extend this line stretch and draw this line F5 to change the isoplane now trim draw a vert uh, horizontal line in this direction and trim we can do the same thing trim select the first one okay the last thing is drawing the circle it is located in the midpoint of this line and also this line and its diameter is 18 that means we have to draw a line in this direction that has a length of 30 and now we can go to draw isocircle and from the midpoint be right 9 delete this reference line and trim the circle and here we go this is our drawing this is the end of this video thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it please do not forget to subscribe bye